Coach, welcome back. Happy to be here for another hockey season. And I know as you begin preparation for the 2019-20 season, you're excited as well. Yeah, no, we're, we're really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, the summer, uh, I enjoyed it. It went quickly, but, you know, you get to this point now. You're ready to play. You're ready to get moving. And uh, a lot of preparation goes into this uh, throughout the course of the summer. It, you know, whether it's our renovations in the locker room that we, we, we did, um, the summer hockey camp, uh, recruiting. So there's a lot of things that we did during the course of summer to hopefully improve our team uh, this fall. And you know now it's time to put the product on the ice. Speaking of the product, one of the big things is 11 new bodies in that room this year. Uh, it changes things up a little bit, but uh, what have you liked so far about the guys and it, as you've seen them start to get together and get to know each other and see them a little bit on the ice here? Well, I think it, it's got a really good feel to it, um, Harrison. I, I, I feel like uh, Already, it's a pretty tight knit bunch. The we've got ten freshmen and a grad transfer for our eleven new players, and and to try to uh, mix those those guys into the culture and everything, it, you know, it could be difficult, but it hasn't been. I think that's a testament to our, our returning older players, but also it's a testament to uh, the eleven new guys. They they seem to fit in very well. So I like the work ethic that I've seen. I, I like their approach in the weight room. Um, I, I just, I, it, to me, even though we're, we're really young, it, it seems to be a group that's mature beyond their years. It, it, it's already as though we have a maturity about this team, uh, and, and it seems like we have a group that really wants to accomplish a lot. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. You know, now it's uh, you know, a few weeks of practicing, and then uh, not too long in the future, we're going to have a few games to play. I would imagine a lot of that uh, culture emanates from the top and your leadership. You look at your uh, captain, your alternate captain, Nate Callen and Dom Lutz, and what do you like about their leadership style early on? Well, I, I like beyond those two, but I do like Nate and, and Dom. Um, Dom is good natured. Uh, he, he knows, uh, you know, in his mind, he knows how to, we need to approach things the Bulldog way, the, the work, but yet he's got a good. Uh, a good sense of humor to him as well. He, like I say, he's very good natured. Uh, Nate is more on task um, as captain. Uh, he's very focused in terms of uh, uh, leading and directing the guys. Um, and then beyond, we, we've got a leadership team in there too. So we've got uh, Cameron Clark and Joe Rutkowski and, and uh, Zach Yoder in a pretty good. Uh, junior group too. So we, we, you know, we've got the two captains and then we've also got uh, an extended leadership team and I think they're all doing a superb job. Looking at the schedule here, uh, some differences in the non-conference from the last few years. Going to meet an old conference foe. Uh, Going to go back to Detroit as well. Uh, how excited are you for this schedule overall? Yeah, well the, the old conference foe, foe Miami, it's been quite a few years since we played Miami and we're really looking forward to that. We, we go down this year for two. I think in two years from now they come back to return those two games. Um, interesting in that we hadn't played Miami in a while, but we played against their coach quite a bit. And Chris Bergeron, who left Bowling Green at, at the conclusion of last year and is now at Miami. So, uh, you know, unless Chris really changes a lot, we have a pretty good feel for how Miami's going to play, and that's exactly how Bowling Green did. Um, and then getting back to the GLI, you know, for a second time uh, in our program history, we're, we're really looking forward to that. We've got a lot of alums in the Detroit area. Would like to find a way to uh, to energize our alumni base and, and use that as a opportunity to bring back a lot of the players that played for Bulldog Hockey in the past. I'm hoping that we have an alumni reception down there and uh, not only just the hockey alums but also uh, a lot of the uh, Ferris alums that happen to live and reside in the Detroit area. You know, the team is successful this year. What does that look like on the ice to you? What kind of play style are you hoping to see out of the guys in order to have success this season? Yeah, you know, it, it's hard. In my mind, and, and uh, I'm, I'm, I haven't really put any kind of goal necessarily, but in my mind, I'd like to see us uh, in the hunt for home ice. Um, you know, we missed the playoffs last year for the first time since we were in the WCHA, um, and only the second time I think in 30 some years. So it, it was an unusual situation for us. Um, so I guess you know the first goal is let's make the playoffs. But you know the second goal we we should be shooting for home ice, and uh, it's easy to say though we got a lot of work to get there.